automotive mechanics. If you guys have a Chevy guys, Chevy Cruze or Chevy Sony guys with a 1.8 engine, okay, we'll show you guys the timing marks today. If you have Chevy Sony, it's the same engine used on Chevy Cruze. That's why we'll demonstrate on Chevy Cruze, but it's the same way on Chevy Sony. We'll guys have more than 200 videos on this car because our mission is to save you guys as much money as we can. All you guys need in return, okay, please hit that subscribe button, like the video and drop a comment below guys and let us know if the video was helpful. The same engine guys, that's a 1.8 Ecotec engine, is being used on Chevy Sony. Now, what do you guys need to do? We have the whole video from start to finish on our main channel, Auto Repair guys, check it out guys. How to do complete timing belt replacement, it's a long video but for some of you looking only, okay, only for the uh, timing marks, we need to explain that today. So. You need to guys bring the engine to TDC. This is top dead center guys, top dead center. How you do that? Okay, on the crankshaft gear here for the timing belt, you have one line. That line needs to align with this arrow. This is your TDC, top dead center guys. Okay, once you do that, okay, once you do that, then, okay, we need to do two more things. Make sure you stand till the end because some people do only one and it could damage your engine. You will need guys a timing tool, we have it listed in the description of the video below, check it out. So this is the tool guys, okay if it's a little bit noisy I apologize it's because of the rain. This tool now guys, okay let me show you how you need to install it. With the engine at TDC, this is the intake camshaft gear, intake camshaft gear, okay this is the exhaust camshaft gear. Now what do you guys need to do? Now, right here, that guys, okay, that tooth right here and this tooth, they need to be almost matching. You can see this one is a dot that's sticking out, this is a dot that's punched in. We painted them white so you can see. Also, we painted our two red stripe and yellow so you can see it as well, otherwise it's just black. And these two now guys, right here, when you install it on the sprockets, okay, that line needs to come on the bottom of this dot and on top of the other one. So that needs to be like the perfect plane right here between the two, everything should be level. Also, this is variable timing engine guys. Those pockets can adjust depending on the RPMs, engine load and all that stuff. You want to remove your valve cover, valve cover is pretty simple to remove and once you remove your valve cover guys here, you're going to install that too. This is a camshaft locking too. Okay, on the back side you have only one place where it goes in the camshaft, okay, like that. You can see it goes in the camshaft gears, here in the sprocket on the back side. And uh, this is for the uh, camshaft position sensor, that's where it reads. And it's in guys, okay, like that. So, you guys have an idea now what needs to be done. These two camshaft needs to be locked by this plate. You have to have that two right here. And you have to have the engine at TDC. So hopefully the video will be helpful. Please hit that subscribe button for more videos and see you guys next time.